Greetings and welcome to Overcrowd, a commute em up. I'm Catherine of Sky. First of all, huge, huge thanks to Square Play Games, who gave me a code to play this for you today. This is a two person dev team, Alistair McQueen and Sarah Tistori, um, who have done the entire game on their own and they have other amazing jobs and then came into game dev. And I think they've been working on this for about four years now. Um, so it's it's a huge accomplishment and it's a really interesting game. Now, I've, I've played this game for a few hours and I have to admit it has a very steep learning curve even after doing the tutorial, but I think I got a handle on it. So we're going to play this today and um, hopefully see what you think about it. All right. So first of all, there are there's a tutorial which gives you kind of the basics of the game and it's very good at showing you what needs to be done in the game. I highly recommend you do that. Um, there is commute of the day. Can you build a five track station in this daily procedural challenge? We strongly suggest you play the tutorial, blah, blah, blah. It's meant to be hard. This is a hard game. Did I mention that? It's really hard. Um, <laughs> then there's sandbox mode. Um, set up your own station sandbox. Make it as hard or easy, big, small as your dreams allow. Uh, that is um, basically have infinite money if you want to, to kind of design the perfect station. This is about building an underground station. Yes. Uh, to get your commuters to where they need to go. So what I started off with is I, well, I did the tutorial, but then generate campaign. So you can just enter any random string of numbers or whatever. I think we're going to go today with Araminta uh, and we'll start and see what we get. This gives you just kind of a random area that you can start in. So here you can change the difficulty. Now I've been playing on normal and it is quite difficult. Um, you also have hard and then there's easy mode, but I think for the sake of the playthrough, let's go through normal mode and you'll see kind of what that means. I love these little, um, the little blocks of the city and how they're connected with train tracks. It's so good. Um, I really like this. The graphics are really good in the game. And um, so we're going to start with Puddington Lane. Gives you a little bit of a description. It's not busy at Puddington Lane. Puddington Lane has very few problems with litter. Now, this seems to be the, um, the default of every single... Uh, first starting station. Oh, by the way, the game is in early access. I forgot to mention that, but um, so things may change or may not or whatever. Um, but we're going to start in zone five, and this is going to be the easiest zone to start out in. Now, as you play, there are two different things, kind of currencies that you have to keep track of. One of them is money, and money is used to buy things like station bits and pieces. Oh, this is interesting, right? Okay, this is a very interesting place we've got here. Uh, so we have money up here. We've got 12,000 pounds to spend any way we want to. And forgive me if I slip into dollars mode. I'm not, I, it's always, I'm always tempted to say dollars even when I mean pounds, there they are. Um, the other currency is bonds. Now, bonds are created or generated by getting these, um, city hall goals sorted out. So the first thing is we need to have one person transported on a train. So every time a person gets on a train and leaves the station, we get one passenger point here. Now up here also, we have the power output here. We have our station reputation. We have commuters shifted. This is a total number. Now this number, I believe the blue number two of 26, I believe that's how many bonds um, we need to earn to get, or how many bonds remain in this station. Yeah, we need to earn that many to kind of progress to the next level of stuff. Now we have a few different other things. There's time up here as well that tells us the time of day and that kind of affects how many commuters we're getting. And then we have, uh, we've got view options up here where we've got top floor focus, Telga earth lines, thermal imaging, uh, and uh, track blueprints. Turn those off if we want. Okay, to-do list. This is how we get to a higher level station, which will enable us to unlock higher level stuff. Uh, build one platform before you finish. Keep station reputation above zero. They will give us some money for this uh, and allow us to um, 
to kind of get further in the game. All right, so let's, I don't want to talk about everything all at once, um, but we need to just, let's start building a little bit and hopefully I can explain as we go. Now we have two different entrances. We've got Upper Street and Oxford Street. And I'm not sure what the footfall bonus is, but it sounds very tasty. So <laughs> we we can, um, what this one has two commuters coming in. This has three. So I think I want to only connect Upper Street for now. Uh, and we need to get to these points. So as in the real world, you can't just build the tracks anywhere. The tracks come into a certain area and this is where you're going to build your station. So we need to make sure that our floor space kind of goes around these tracks. This is the floor space that the game has randomly generated for us. It is in a completely useless area. So <laughs> first thing we need to do is get the floor edited. Okay, I think we can only... Oh, hello. Oh, I forgot to click it properly. Okay, so we're going to go from Upper Street, and this is showing us where we are actually going to connect. So we're going to go with the northern line first. Um... And when, well, first of all, we want to have this four wide. I've learned this over time to have two turnstiles widthwise here. Now then, um, on each side of the track, you need one space of, uh, of, of space, at least one. So we're going to go ahead and build this out this way. We're going to try to be a little bit cautious with the money because we don't have that much money. We really don't. Um, but we're also going to need stuff like, um, infrastructure, like tool rooms, control rooms, utility rooms, and staff rooms, which need to be put somewhere. And I think this section in the middle is really good. But the problem is, is we can't get over this line without some tech. So that's a little bit problematic. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to leave some space for this train line here. And we're going to go ahead and build some of these rooms off to the side. Um, how do we want to do this exactly? Jeez, this is like not ideal. <laughs> this is a really not ideal map to start on, but it'll be fine. So we want to build a room like maybe four for the tool room. And we can also extend it later. Also three spaces. And that's pretty much all we can fit there. So let's go ahead and just put those rooms in. So we're going to have probably... Let's have the utility room up here. Now there's a reason I make them three wide and they're extendable to go back into the area there. We also need the tool room. The tool room is very important because we're going to be accessing it in really often uh, so it should be in a place that's accessible and then we need a staff room and I think we might just put the staff room on this side mm. maybe can I put it over here uh, it's gonna impinge on the tracks this is a really very un untasty setup <laughs> very untasty so I think I'm just gonna put it over here I think so we're gonna go one two three we don't need a big staff room to start off with, and I don't think we'll need one in general. So let's just do it that way. Let's go and get our facilities staff room. So basically what I've been doing here is just planning stuff. Just planning. We'll put the staff room entrance maybe here. So we have enough room for stuff up here. Okay, so this is good. So we have these different rooms, different items go in different rooms. Um, but we need to have some basic stuff in the game. So the first thing we need is under infrastructure, we need an entrance to the street. So let's see if we can rotate this and put it here. So it can only go between the lamp posts, as you see. So even though this is close, it'll be fine. We're not going to worry about this too much. We, again, we want to spend as little money as possible. We still have to put in the train line. So here's our platform. Let's put that in as well. And this is where our train's going to arrive. Now you see the hatched cross hatches here. Those are the places where, um, well, we need to assign how people uh, are going to board this train. So let's right click on it. Go to the alighting point. 
look where the sign is. You can see the line where people are not supposed to cross the line. So we want that to be on this side only. Uh, we don't want them to try to jump across or anything. I don't think they can do that. But anyway, this is this is what you want to have here. Okay, so we have this ready and um, yay, uh, life is okay now. But um, we also need a few more items before we can open our station. So let's go ahead and go to facilities. And we got to get in a couple of turnstiles here. Uh, let's... Oh man, this is such a small space. It's terrible. It's like, no, it's horrible. Oh wow, we can't even fit it there. Oh no, we might have to put this down here. Yeah, this is definitely not ideal. Um, I could, I could move this room slightly. Let's do that. Let's delete the room. Let's sell this room. And then move it back a little bit because this is just not working out the way I want it to. Infrastructure, that was the tool room, I believe. So we'll put it here instead. And then we'll put the door again here. I don't really have a lot of choices where I can put this door. Uh, and then we're going to get the floor edited to be... I think here is where we wanted this wall to be. So that we could put the turnstiles in properly. Okay, Eleonora or Araminta, why did you have to be so troublesome? Oopsies, I, uh, you can rotate the map as well with uh, the keys that you choose. I have remapped my keys, so look at the defaults. <laughs> but anyway, you need to have your turnstiles in a way that people can't just run over them and, and cross them at will. Okay, so with these, you also need to set a direction because... Um, people need to go which one is in and which one is out so right click those and I love the destinations there's either go to the train or go to the exit this is so handy I really like this uh, really nice kind of uh, way of doing things now then we also need what I'm thinking about doing is going on this side here and putting the ticket machines out here so that when we connect to this area here we can actually have the ticket machines along this side. I think that would be fairly useful. So let's just do that. We're spending a little bit of money here, but I think it's worth it. So let's rotate these guys and have a couple of ticket machines this way. Okay, that's looking pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so let's reverse this. Oops, this way, okay. I tend to like to keep my uh, directions in one direction. Okay, so we also have a bin, which is a nice kind of a litter thing. You can put a bin anywhere you want. Uh, it's good to put them down for sure because people do litter and it's kind of important that you get those things placed properly. Okay, so let's just put another one here. I don't know if this is actually enough space for this. Hmm. Oh, well, it'll be fine. We'll just call it fine here. Okay, so now we need to kind of populate these rooms with things. Now we need to figure out how much energy we we're going to need. Let's see, open your station to, to view power usage. This I'm not really a fan of. I would love to know how much I need before I open the station. But um, let's see what we can do here. So let's just make sure that we have everything that we can get. We need power. Um, we also need to get um, certain items let's see what what are we gonna get here i started my last playthrough a little bit differently which was really useful um so i'm kind of looking at what we could get here staff vending machine facilities these are all the items that you can unlock with research and stuff first thing i want to get is a light in fact let's unlock it as we need it shall we okay so we have everything here ish uh, let's go ahead and open the station. So we're going to right click this. You need power to open. Okay, well, let's start off with power then and go with the level one generator. We need at least four of these. One, two, three, four. I was hoping to show you on the actual power graph, but it's not wanting to do that for me at the moment. So that's okay. We're going to just start this way and it'll, it will be fine. All right, there we go closed we can click it open hey hooray we got some money for this okay and let's unpause
And we have people. Hello, people. Now we can look at the power graph and see. Okay, so we need maximum power need is 1.6 kilowatts. Power reserve is 4 kilowatts. Uh, max capacitance is four and it tells you how much power is being drained from each of the things now we're going to hold off on hiring an employee for now now these ticket machines you can also change the prices of the tickets uh, and it also i think where does it show you there is a menu here reports that shows you it's under commerce oh yes profit and sales and how much they cost markup is ten dollars um, and these, obviously, tickets, there's no other cost to that. Aha, now people are gathering. When we have the green light, you can't call trays when it's paused, but when we have the green light here, that means we can call a train, and you have to call the trains until you get the automatic call thing. So let's click this, and we have a train. Yay! Okay. So hopefully people are going to come and enter this train. Four people are getting off the train, so people kind of have to wait until they... Oh, people are saying it's a bargain. Okay, people are kind of happy about this. Let's check out the reports. Oh, well, let's watch them get on. They're going to get on the train. Four people per train. This is not a lot. We're going to have to expand this like really soon. Okay, train is gone. And then the little symbol says, all right, arrives in 60 minutes. Okay, so we can look at reputation, what people are thinking. Oh my gosh, it's gloomy in here. So that means we kind of need to have some lights. I'm going to ignore the high prices right now, um, but we'll get to that in a second. So procurement. Wow, we already have six bonds. This is great. So what I want to do is we want to buy probably a light. Where's the... Oh, there's a wheelie. That's also important. Where the heck is it? Oh, it's facilities. There we go. So this is going to cost us level one light with small illumination radius, low power, and high heat production. All right, price one bonds. We have available six. Let's procure this. Um, and then we also might want to get small plants, but then we have to have people to water them. I think it's time that we, we can hire a person right now. When we're paused, you can see the litter bins are starting to fill up a little bit. The generators are a little bit low on fuel here. Well, not low, but they're like probably 70 or 80% on fuel here. So um, those are things to keep an eye on. But look at these. Oh, gloomy, gloomy. Uh, life is not good. So I want to add the lights. Level one lighting. You can see where we can put lights. Let's add one right here. Okay. We'll also add one right here. And one down here and you'll see I love how the lights light up that's just great that the whole that's nice okay so people are gonna be happier with this all right train is not available yet I'm very tempted I think we need to probably get a better train get the two carriage train for four bonds let's go get it okay let's go so next time we call the train, we're going to have a train with two carriages instead of just one. Now, we can add uh, people. So people are saying crowded, crowded. Um, okay, that that nice train sound, it means we can call a train. Here it comes. Yay! There it is. Okay. But it's crowded, so there's no seats. People are quite unhappy about this. Um, so I think I want to, we want to hire a new person. We now have seven bonds, which is great. So let's go and see what staff we have. Oh boy, we have only Isaac Wilson, who has really terrible skills. Oh my goodness, like really terrible. Um, only has one strength, meaning they can only carry one item at a time. That's not ideal. And the rest, he can do people skills, but man, refuse medical security are really bad. He's going to have a really bad time. Uh, let's hire him right now. Anyway, I don't know if we get bonds back from hiring people, like if we fire them. But anyway, let's go see what other tools we can get here. Level one megaphone. When people are crowded, if you use the megaphone, they actually feel better. Um, they, let's see, remove overcrowding, and allow them to squeeze past each other, generates positive reputations to get that. We need the level one toolkit in case anything breaks down, like the trains and other uh, turnstiles and the ticket machines. Let's buy that. The level one jerry can, this is a fuel can, um, so they can refuel the generators. You need to have the fuel barrel to fill the little 
gas can, and then you can fuel the generators. So let's get that. Refuse skill. This is extremely important. It's a litter picker. Now you have to have this tool in order to empty the litter bin. This is not just from grabbing it off the ground. So keep that in mind. And then we can get the watering can too, if we want. Oh, not, not, not right now. It costs two. Okay. Now that we have all that stuff, we need to place all these tools down and tell our employee to go and grab stuff up. So the megaphone we can put there. Litter picker here. Sure. Uh, jerry can I like to have right there. And then the tools. Let's put that one over there as well. Okay. And here he is. Wilson right there. Okay. So come and let's see. What do we want to do? Let's go and get the megaphone for now. So Wilson's going to go and grab this megaphone and walk over here. And you can see how the perception range kind of works and where they can see people feeling frustrated or, or overcrowded. So hopefully we can get that going. Now, one thing that we do need in order to expand this station is we need something uh, called the footbridge, which we have to have a bigger station or the next level station to get. So yeah, build a pedestrian bridge to safely allow commuters to get from one side of a track to another. So that's kind of important. But in other case, in other uh, news, we have three bonds. Let's buy a water cooler and we'll buy a staff vending machine and we'll buy an uncomfortable chair. <laughs> And then we're going to place some of these in our staff room, which we handily put down already. Let's get the water cooler there, the vending machine, and the chair. Now, remind, uh, remember that all of this stuff costs, um, costs electricity, too. One thing I want to do with Wilson is look at the staff sheet and give Wilson some time to rest. Uh, so Wilson hopefully will automatically go there when needed, when he needs to, or when he has a break. Okay. Okay, let's call the train. Now there are ways that you can speed that up a bit. Okay, Wilson, let's see. Let's pause for now. And I think I want Wilson to go and get the trash stuff. So let's send him to get the trash picker tool. Now later on, as you level people up, or if they have more strength, they can carry more items at once. Uh, oh. We can't actually empty this litter bin until we have the wheelie bin, which is in the utilities thingy. Oh, did we not get it? Oh, no, we didn't. Oh dear. Okay, it's in procurement. Um, mm -hmm. All right, utilities maybe? Yes, okay, level one wheelie bin. So this is kind of like the giant bin that they're gonna take stuff out to the city in. Um, and this is collected once a day. We don't have enough bonds to get it. We only need one, though. So hopefully, people, board the train. Go, go, go. Get going. Yay, we got more bonds. Hooray! Okay, let's get that wheelie bin so that um, Wilson can empty stuff out. Okay, let's go to facilities. Wheelie, right here. There we go. So Wilson, hopefully, go and get this. Let's see if he empties all the bins or not. Okay, come on. You can do it. You can do it, guy. Taking out the trash. XP plus one. So what happens is he's going to try and try and... Oopsies. Let's see. Right click him and see. So you see him trying stuff. And if he fails, he gets more despair, unfortunately. This is, this is very kind of sad um but it happens okay so let's get him to send him over here these aren't quite full enough to attract his attention to us like okay i need to get this um so you kind of have to send him over i'm just kind of like we don't really need to empty it but it's like oh, it would be nice you know so there we go and he's getting xp as he does stuff and as he does that he will gain in um you can choose attributes for him to follow later okay so what else do we need i think we i would love to refill those generators so let's go and have him grab the uh, jerry can here and um refill stuff now, i don't think they're low enough for him to be happy uh refilling automatically because sometimes if they see like people in distress or something they will they will do that automatically within their their field of vision. Go ahead and refill this one. No, no, this one, this one, please. There you go. There we go. Okay. 
So I'm going to send him to get the megaphone. Lots of people are waiting on the platform here. Um, there's another thing that I want to buy. Oh, we have seven bonds. Holy fuzzy cats. That's quite a lot. All right. Let's go to our procurements. Amenities are... Oh, not, not amenities. Commerce. Newspaper stand we can buy. And we can also buy a newspaper billboard. Okay. So this newspaper billboard is a thing. Advertisements will earn you 15 pounds for every 10 views. They also make commuters more likely to buy newspapers. And then the stand meets your commuters' information needs with up-to-date news and current affairs. Okay. So people have opinions about everything. <laughs> oh, wait. This is the wrong thing. Staff. I meant to be reports. There we go. So we're overcrowded. It's still gloomy, really? Okay, later on, they're gonna complain about not enough products to buy, basically. So, yeah, commerce. Let's put some newspaper billboards on the walls here. Uh, oh, oh, okay, we have stuff. Now, one thing that I would love to see is that you could put the billboards on the side of room walls. Now, I don't know why you can't, but you can't. Uh, so we're gonna just put them where we can, maybe like one here one over here um there we go i think that should be okay and then we need a newspaper stand somewhere maybe here after people have already been exposed to oh we can't build that on top of this no that's not good we could maybe put it here well we can move it later if we want to costs money to move things but we're gonna jack up the prices a bit um okay call the train again we still have five bonds, which is great. I'm thinking about getting... Oh, whoops. Here, go ahead and pronounce the news of the world. Everybody should be happy. Yay! No more crowded buff. Okay, people should get on the train now. You can go down here as well. Once this is sorted, I'm going to get um, uh, footbridges to go across this thing instead of having them so crowded here. What else can we do here? I want to get... Watering can would be nice. I've never actually used plants, so that could be a fun thing. So let's get the watering can. And then capacitor um, stores a small amount of excess power to keep your ne power network uh, active when out of fuel. That could be a really good thing um, for when we have slight power outages. Let's get a plant. And then an uncomfy bench. No, <laughs> that's very sad. Very, very sad. Um, and that's all we can buy until we level up the station. Um, that's kind of rough, but that's okay. Let's get our watering can and, um, maybe put a couple plants around the place. Not too many because I, you know, we have to water all of them. It's a lot of work. Facilities? Oh, here it is. Small plants. Okay. So hopefully people will be happy about these plants. We'll see. Let's put one maybe over here, middle of the world, and then one over here perhaps okay nice plant well lit okay they're quite happy about this that's great oh my they are very happy about this what if i can like up the prices a bit let's see high prices is still six percent overcrowded and still gloomy i'm thinking it's these kind of a little bit darkened areas over here so let's go ahead and add maybe a couple of lights like way at the edges so that they can light the next area over. Okay. So Wilson, I think you should go and have a have a relaxing time there. Go and eat. Now at the moment, we can't hire any more people yet. There's nobody to hire uh, at the moment. So, oh, try and click. Every time I hear, I've like tuned my ears to like listen for that sound. Gotta do that. Okay, so people should get on the train soon. Waiting for people to alight. Let's, uh, let's pause. Looks like trash is doing okay. Oh, these people are looking for a bench. Uh, we probably need to get that. Facilities. Let's get a couple of benches. Uncomfy bench. The names of these things. Let's put one here and here. Uh, ooh, or, or maybe... Eh, can't put them here. No! Sadness is real. Put some here. I don't know why they're waiting over there, but yeah. Anyway, it should be fine. But some things that help the overcrowding is actually to extend your station a little bit. 
as well, give people more room to do stuff. I don't want to combine these because I'll need more turnstiles for this. Uh, but anyway, okay, so we have been awarded a second star. This is great. Okay, so Tracks built one of two doors awarded, footfall bonus, zero of two. I don't know what that means. Uh, net reputation change, 3%. Okay, so we currently have 68% reputation. Lifetime profit minus 425 pounds. That's not too bad, uh, considering we had to build the entire thing. Optional goals outstanding, four. Okay, so we're going to play on here. Um, but I think that that's a good place to stop the episode. I hope you've gotten... I, I'm sorry if it's information overload, but there's so much to this game. Um, but anyway, we're going to continue on in the next episode and try to earn a few more bonds before we go on to station number two or number four. Anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.